Hey, what's up guys? It's Intel here and oh damn, what's that? So I just wanted to quickly mention before the video starts that PvP Lounge went ahead and gave me uh, one of their YouTuber capes, which is super sick. So right now I'm on PvP Lounge client. So if I go ahead and escape and go into cosmetics, you see I have a few capes available. I also have this uh, Survey Corpse cape from Attack on Titan and this looks so sick. Yo, Attack on Titan is fire by the way. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. But yeah, big shout out to PvP Lounge client for hooking me up but they are also letting me go ahead and give away a cape that I choose so one of you guys gets to have a fancy cape like uh, this survey corpse cape right here so all you have to do for this giveaway is like this video subscribe um, follow me on Twitter follow my Facebook uh, follow my Instagram uh, check out my Amazon wish lists check out my eBay account buy my merch <laughs> yeah okay I I'm joking uh, you don't have to do any of that literally all you have to do is just comment your IGN and I will choose a winner in like like a week so yeah that's pretty much it so let's get right into the video I hope you guys enjoyed those uh, few little clips. I've been trying to play more, trying to get better at the game, unrest myself. But uh, yeah, I do want to say, so uh, I have made a block hitting video before. Uh, it was like uh, one of my first tutorials. It was a while back. However, in that video, I feel like I didn't really articulate uh, myself the best that I could. And I really think I could have done that video better. So that's why I'm remaking it. And I think out of all the tutorials, almost all the tutorials, block hitting has one of the most significant applications to it because block hitting will help you so much if you can learn how to do it correctly. So before we actually go into the techniques and whatnot, I want to talk about just uh, block hitting as a concept, which is not something like y'all might really think is important, but uh, block hitting is essentially the same as W tapping. Well, like the whole concept behind it is the same. And what I mean by that is block hitting is a way to reset your sprint, deal more KB, and stutter your movement, which is the same thing as W tapping. So to touch on that topic really quickly, you can see that when I start sprinting, and I hit something for the first time, it sort of launches it, deals a ton of knockback. However, if I don't let go of my W key and I hit it a second time, a third time, a fourth time, you can see that the knockback it deals is uh, way less than that original first hit. So once again, just by holding W, the very first hit is gonna launch it, second and third, not gonna do as much. And what W tapping is, is when you're sprinting and you punch something to deal that large amount of knockback, you let go of your W key and quickly press it again. So you are constantly dealing the knockback that it would on the first sprint hit as opposed to just holding W, hitting it, and then continuing to hit it and getting that low amount of knockback, which you really don't want. Block hitting does the exact same thing as W tapping. So just like releasing your W key when you block Lock your sword that also resets your sprint so you can see when I hit this guy I launch him I block my sword I hit him again, I hit him again. You see, every time that I block and I hit him again, I am launching him far away like I am on the original attack. How block hitting and W tapping work and what they do is the exact same. However, there is one advantage and one disadvantage to block hitting as opposed to W tapping. The advantage is that it stutters your movement speed less. So you can see when I'm going forward and I'm releasing and I'm W tapping, you can see when I do it, my movement quite literally halts and it stops when I W tap. Now when I block my sword you can see that I retain some of that forward velocity a bit so if I'm just walking forward and I'm tapping my block key you can see that uh, overall I'm pausing a lot less than when I'm W tapping. This is important in Minecraft combat because generally uh, the, the faster you are moving forward, the less likely uh, your opponent is going to be able to combo you. You see a lot more high pixel players block hitting, and that's because uh, on the game modes that utilize no speed PvP, you don't have a lot of movement speed to begin with, so you want to try and avoid stuttering it as much as possible. And this is why generally with uh, speed 2 PvP, like pop PvP, you see a lot more people W tapping and such. That's because you already have a lot of movement speed, and it doesn't really factor into the gameplay nearly as much as it does with no speed PvP. The one disadvantage with block hitting is that it may affect your aim. So the more processes that you do with your, your right hand, your mouse hand, 
uh, the, the more challenging it is going to, to be to focus on aim. So for me personally, it's easier just to use my mouse hand and just click and not really having to worry about resetting my sprint and leaving that to my left hand because then I can really just focus on aiming and clicking more. And when you add that extra variable of gameplay into it, so now your hand has to worry about three things as opposed to two things, so you have clicking, aiming, and block hitting, uh, becomes a little more challenging to do all three consistently. However, I'm not saying this is the case for everyone, and if you practice it, then um, that isn't going to necessarily affect you nearly as much as it does other people. If you find that you are able to block it and not affect your, your gameplay at all, then good for you. However, if you're really struggling with your aim, then that is something to keep in consideration, is that the less factors that you have to, uh, to worry on using your mouse, then the, the easier it is going to be able to aim. Now moving on to the technique, you can see I have my hand cam set up now, but the technique is uh, relatively simple. There's an easy rule with block hitting, and that's when you're fighting someone, or in my case a pigman, while you're swinging your sword, you want to right click as the their player model turns red. Let me actually do this with a wood sword so they don't drop as fast, but yeah, right click, right click, right click, oops, right click. Oh my god. I probably should have gotten an actual player to do this against. This is actually sort of hard with just like NPCs. But yeah, right click, right click, right click. There we go, right click, right click. So you can see every time they're just they're just about to turn red, at the very start of it, you want to just tap your block and that's going to automatically deal KB. But yeah, don't make the mistake of just using your left and right click and just pressing both at the same time like this because um, even though that is going to work, like you are going to deal a lot of knockback, your, your movement is not what it should be. Once again, block hitting is similar to W tapping, and in that sense, when you W tap, you you don't do this. Like you don't just mash your W key. That's just gonna make it easier for other people to put you in a combo. The only time you actually want to reset your sprint is when you're right about to hit them, because that's when it matters the most. So I would first just practice that. Just get into the habit of being able to time your block hit when the player is about to turn red. Now, once you have that ability mastered, you may be wondering, well, hey, Intel, why why in the beginning clips? Were you being more spammy with it if you only need to tap it once, or you were just holding it out along more? Well, what's the point of that? Why are you doing that? And that's because one of the main concepts with something like block hitting or something like W tapping is people fail to realize that there are two aspects of those techniques. Obviously, the first aspect is to reset your sprint and deal more KB, but the second aspect is to distance yourself from the player and stutter your movement, because once again, the, the, the farther away you are from a movement, when you get a combo on them, they aren't going to be able to hit you, and that, that's what goes into getting a combo. And again, you're timing it in a way that uh, you're, you're just distancing yourself from your opponent to the point where uh, they can't hit you, but you can hit them. But yeah, once again, just to reiterate, you don't want to do that when you're just trading someone or when you're just like first engaging in a fight you want to do that when you know you are going to combo someone now what i like to do and i think this makes my play style a little unique is when i know i'm gonna get someone in a combo a lot of the times i like to hold out my block hits so i will purposefully just hold it out as if i'm just like blocking my sword i won't spam it but I will literally just hold it out like this. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna stop your movement a lot, but it's also gonna let you really like combo someone. And I'll, I'll go ahead and like uh, show another clip of like me specifically doing that in order to, uh, to combo someone. Now that's just my personal preference of playstyle whenever I put someone in a, co in a combo. You can do that if you want, but you can also be more spammy with it, which is probably what a lot of other people do. Or you can uh, W tap and block hit at the same time, and that's gonna stutter your movement even more. But yeah, everyone, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Uh, leave some comments if you have any questions. I'll try to address as many questions as I can because I want everyone to know this concept. I think it's a pretty easy thing to do, and when you master it, you are going to just be better at the game. It's just something that's really, really powerful. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into just probably a match, and uh, I, I just want you to look out for my playstyle and see what I'm doing, and hopefully you, you're able to catch uh, some of the topics in the tutorial that I covered. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.